So what is worship? Worship is not a song. Listen, you need to first settle this in your mind. God is spirit. Not God can be a spirit. God is not a man. He chose to become a man so that he can reveal himself to us. But essentially, God is spirit. And those who will we worship it must, not can, not may. So essentially, the language of worship is not words. It's Oh, you think they speak English in heaven? No. You think they speak your language in heaven? No. That's not the language of God. God is spirit. So I will have to go past my reasoning. Because the realm of God, reasoning cannot stand. That's the meaning. Those who must worship has to be in spirit. When that is settled, then the truth can flow out of your heart. So we have people who just say what they don't mean. Because you started worship from the realm of words. So I can be before the Father not saying a word. Yet I have traveled worshiping. God is spirit. God is not trying to be a spirit. He is essentially a spirit. And guess what? You are a spirit. So when we come together like this, you must come to a place of genuity before the Lord. Genuineness. Oh, I'm not waiting for them to sing the song I love. No. I don't even need words. Words convey. Thank God. But where God is, my reasoning cannot go there. My mind, I will lose my mind trying to find God. So I'll have to trust my spirit to go where words cannot go. So when we come together like this, essentially, we are not coming here just to sing songs that we love, as as that makes us feel good. You know, people want to feel good, and then they call that worship. We're worshiping, you're holding your phone. How? Can't encounter Jesus like that. Never. You won't see. But when the days, let me break some tables. Music was created for worship. For thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. Revelations five twelve. Music was created for worship. Essentially, every other derivative of music, we made it. When God made Lucifer, he made a man, he made a being just to worship him. So we are not um, musicians trying to use our gift for God. No. The essence of our being and the gift is for him. Put me on A. Oh. So when we come together like this, it's very essential that we make up our minds to focus on the real thing, worship, the one you see. And we can all be in the room and we have different experiences. Oh, yes. 
The Lord said to me recently, many come to a church, but few get to the altar. Many come to service, but few get to the altar. Because the altar is a place of encounter. So as we go through this weekend, and we, it's to reveal Jesus to you. If you came for a service and you never met Jesus, you never had a service. You went for a show. You went for some motivational talks. You must meet Jesus. That's what happens in Zion. You, you must. We have come to the blood of to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. That's where we have come. They are not gathered to hear your favorite song. No. They are gathered to only one man. And his name is You worship who you do not know. But we know who we worship. And the how has come over South Africa. That those who must worship. And now is that time. The first place is for surrendering and realigning yourself. To so going back to how it was. To the heart of worship where it's all about him. Oh, thank God for your good voice. It's more than that. Thank God for the things you do for the Lord. It's more than that. We need to get to a place, that point of worship, where you see him. And if you're a music minister, you have to register this. You're not trying to make some music. You're trying to reveal Jesus. That's your purpose. Gone are the days. I just want to... How do you even receive songs? David and his men wrote 150 psalms. At least that was recorded. And up to today, the body of Christ is praying those psalms, not even singing them. Yet they were songs. I said David and his men wrote 150 psalms, songs. The body of Christ is praying what they wrote, not singing them. That's the power of Psalms. It's not just words. It's not just songs. Number two, the body of Christ agrees on Psalms. Every denomination agrees on Psalms. These were songs to the Lord. We pray them. We don't even sing them. But this generation wants to put one or two things together and then put melody on it. I say, I have, I'm a music minister. Do you know what that means? Do you know what it means to say I'm a music minister? It means you stand before the Lord, before God whom I stand. I'm not trying to make some songs. I'm trying to reveal Christ. I'm trying to bring some dimensions of God to the body. And sadly, the body of Christ is still in this, in this baby state where everything goes. You hear anything, say, yeah, it's good. I cried. You did not cry because it was anointed. You cried because it was justifying and glorifying your flesh. Lost. Some songs, I wonder, if you stand before God, would you be able to open your mouth to sing them? 
Never. Until we brought Ichabod on stage. And that has doctored a generation that when they come into a place is until they hear the song they want to hear before they worship. So this weekend God is realigning a generation realigning us back to what matters Jesus is our only message not how we look if you begin to judge from the standpoint and the eye view of Jesus you will see that every other let every other names Let every other name till the sun leave. Let all the other names, Jesus, Jesus, over South Africa. Let every other names. Over the body of Christ here, let every other name till there's only you. Let it. Jesus take your place. Jesus take your place. Let all the other names. We are tired of buying and selling. Let all the other names. Let the rod of the Lord come back to Zion. Let all for the scepter shall not depart from Judah. Judah's only. Till there's only you. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. You are all we want to see. 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 Ego has spoken, but you are all we want to see. Pride has spoken, but you are all we want to see. The Lamb man of Sapphire, you are all we want to see. And the men of Topper, you are all we want to see. A generation is crying, you are all we want to see. A nation is Akabaya. Can the nation be born in a day? But as soon as Zion prevailed, you are all we want to see. You are all we want to see. We are tired of buying and selling. We are tired of celebrity lifestyle. You are all we want to see. 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 Natalia, 
You are all we want to see. 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 You are all we